to another edition of the 2024 MLB Draft Spotlight Show. This is going to be the breakout edition. I got my man, Kellen Lindsay, out of Hardy High School in, is that Wachula? Wachula, Florida? Wachula, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. The, the pride of Wachula. <laughs> Kellen Lindsay, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Introduce yourself. Like, what is Kellen Lindsay about on the field? How, how do you tick? And then off the field, how are you killing your spare time? And I don't want to answer for you, but it sure seems like you have no time off the field. Yeah. So a little bit about me. Like, I'm just kind of an all-around athlete, I feel like. I played two sports all my life. Uh, both my brothers did, so I kind of followed in their footsteps, you know. And, you know, I just try to go out there and make plays every day and just work hard, you know. And this this past um, winter has been really good for me because I me mean, football finished up and I was really able to really put my time into just baseball, you know, and that's been really good. I've gotten the weight room and it's definitely helped develop me this year. Yeah. What's it what's it like as a two sport guy balancing playing quarterback, playing shortstop, playing center field like, man, you got to get a lot of reps for those leadership positions. Kind of tell me what the last 24 months of your life has been like. Yeah, no, it's it's been awesome. It's, it's definitely tiring for sure, doing both, going back and forth. Um, you know, it it, it really develops me uh, mentally, I feel like, a lot. Being a quarterback and then being a shortstop and the leadership you have on both roles, like, it's really important for me. And this year we got a lot of young kids on the team coming in that are playing. So, like, being able to help them and lead them on the team, it's been awesome for me. We'll dive into that football story a little bit more, but I want to know what the last, uh, let's like microscope this thing down. What has the last four months been like for you? Because you put in the work this winter. I know that you probably missed some opportunities last summer and last fall with a minor bruise, but how, what's it been like, like basically not seeing your name on boards. And then all of a sudden it's like, Whoa, I have like 50 scouts at all of my games. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely been crazy. Like in the winter, like, I, I got a couple invites to um, go to different clubs, and, like, after that, they started just coming in hard, and I went to so many different clubs and had workouts. It was awesome. Got to meet all kinds of cool guys on the team and players, too. And then it started from there, and then it just kept building from there into the high school season now. I mean, there's there's plenty of scouts at every game now. It's, it's definitely been cool. Okay, so what was your breakthrough moment this winter? When did something click for you to where it really ratcheted your game up to a new level? Yeah, I would just say, like, when I switched over in my mind that, like, now I just stick to baseball, you know? And that was really big for me because I could really focus on, like, focus on, like, mechanics in my swing, in my fielding. And, like, really being able to focus on that, like, fielding-wise, keeping my rhythm in the fielding, something I really haven't done in years past, it's been really good for me and then swing of course really getting to break down my swing and kind of understand it a little more it's been good for sure is there is there one cue that clicked with your offensive game because you're hitting the ball harder you're hitting the ball with more consistency like is there a is there a cue is there a pillar that you try to hone in on on your game yeah i think a lot of that too is the lifting side of things and the strength it really helped me uh after football season i've gained I think around 15 pounds. So the lifts are so much different than baseball specific lifts, you know, like it's more about like so much power, like you're just benching and squatting more than anything, you know. And now that I was able to work on like specific stuff, like in my speed as well, like it's definitely developed me and helped me with my swing too. Just, I got a lot of power. It hasn't always showed, but like, I think it's going to come soon for sure. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Florida Gators, man. So you are uh, committed to to Gainesville. You got to be excited to play for Sully. What went into uh, switching over to uh, to the University of Florida? Yeah, no. So that's that's always been my dream school. Like my family, they love that school, and both my brothers graduated from there, got their degree. So like I've been going there all my life, and it's always where I wanted to go. Um, I switched over. I mean, it's kind of obvious they're. Their track record is really good, and they know how to win games and develop players. And that's what I wanted coming in there as a freshman, hopefully getting a starting job, working my butt off in that sense, and then being able to develop from there, get some strength on me, and make it to the next level from there for sure. You get a chance to see the campus. You get a chance to talk to Kevin O'Sullivan. Like, how, how's that feeling? No, it's great, yeah. Yeah, I went up there this past weekend when they played Texas A&M. 
and the atmosphere was great there. I got to talk to all the coaches and players. It was awesome this year. So uh, you got as much power as Jack Caglione. You were just telling me. You were just telling me about the power, man. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Maybe it's coming, but he's a really strong, dude, for sure. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Uh, he's different. He is different. But I mean, hey, listen, you play quarterback, you're an AD runner, you play shortstop center field. You're a little bit different too, Kellen. Um, mm. So so what's next for you? I mean, you finally get this chance to like pour your all into baseball exclusively. Like what's next in the development path journey for Kellen Lindsay? Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to get better as a teammate and then a player. Like for my team right now, I'm trying to go out and help them win games and be a leader in that sense. And like I said, we got a lot of young guys, so going out there every day, really helping them mentally lock in, it's been good for me. And then trying to develop for if I go to when I go to Florida and try to get in there as a freshman and start there. You watch a lot of pro ball? Yeah, I watch a little bit. Yes, sir. So you watch you, you who who do you who do you like to watch? Like who do you model your game after? Is there someone that kind of clicks for you? I'll definitely say Trey Turner. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. my guy. Yeah. I look after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see. I mean, hey, there's a lot of similarities between you guys. You're, you guys are both super twitchy kids. Um, mm -hmm. Very, very cool, man. All right. So as you look forward, as you look forward to uh, jumping into the next level, to Florida, to the pros, they integrate a lot of technology into training, whether that be mm -hmm. hit tracks, Rapsodo, you know, kinetic vests, things like that. I'm just curious. Is that something that you have dug into as an amateur yet? Have you tried to 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 train with technology and data? No, I really haven't. Um, my high school, we don't really use a whole lot of that, to be honest with you. Um, going on this winter to all the different clubs, like you got to see a glimpse of all, all their different technology they have. And it was really awesome to see. And moving forward, like I'm, I'm kind of excited to use that different stuff to help develop my game. It's, it'll be cool in the future. Absolutely, man. So a few more questions. I'll get you out of here. Kellen mm -hmm. Lindsay is drafted by so-and-so in July. Let's say that happens. What's a message to that fan base that you want to give them? Like who is Kellen Lindsay and, and what are those fans getting? Yeah. So, I mean, they're getting a guy that's going to work his butt off and every day he's going to go out there to make himself better and play with a team out there and play for an organization. And I think that's really cool that a lot of people forget, you know, you're playing for a whole club. Like, that's awesome. And they're also getting a player that's going to be versatile and I can play multiple positions. Um, natural athlete kind of is really big, big for me getting out there and just working hard more than anything. I like it. I like that answer. All right. I'll get you out of here. Two more questions. Uh, Kellen and Lindsay, you play for 25 more years. Let's say you play until you're 42, 43 years old. What's the one walk-up song you would be comfortable with for 25 more years? Ooh, it's a good question right there. Um, I've kind of looked through a lot of different songs this year, trying to pick one for high school. Um, I also I really like Edge of Seventeen. That's kind of song I really come to like. It's a pretty good song for sure. Twenty five years, you good with that? I mean, I, I think I'm good with it. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Uh, last question, right. man. You got to know a lot of high school teammates. Got to know uh, a lot of guys, kind of bouncing around the tournament circuit. Here's your chance. Uh, who's the one guy that no shot you'd let him date your sister? Oh, that's a good one right there. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'd probably say recently in, in the winter, I got to see a lot with KJ Scobie. Okay. And, I mean, there's something about him. I probably wouldn't let him date my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I like I'm not going to go like into it. detail, but, but yeah, for sure. Well, we'll, we'll keep it PG. Uh, I actually want to oh, hit yeah, you with one last sure. question. Just because I know, the no doubt, like over the last month, month and a half, you've probably had a lot of Zoom calls with scouts and getting to know different organizations. What's the strangest question that you've received so far in those interviews? Ooh, um, yeah, that's a good one. I would probably say, probably asking about a girlfriend probably is kind of a little strange to me for sure. Yep. I've had yep. multiple asks about that. No peanut butter in the fridge? Just, I don't have one. <laughs> Thank goodness you don't have one. <laughs> wow, priorities set oh, in yeah. stone. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's baseball season right now. <laughs> I respect it. Kellen, Lindsay, uh, yeah. Hardy, Florida, man. Excited to see what this spring holds for you. Got a couple more games to kind of show out. Let's see what you can do, man. Yes, sir. Thanks.